Well, hello, my friends. This is Gladys from Gladys Garden <clears throat> in Heart of a Gypsy. Hope everyone's doing okay tonight. Um, well, it's late for me. I don't know what time it is where you at. But, um, well, I do hope you notice something different in the camera. It is turning around finally. But, I have to tell you, if you could see the contraption that this sucker is mounted on, you probably feel uh, pity for me. But I'll go, <laughs> probably this weekend since I'm going to go down to the valley, I'll go and try to find something that I can turn this camera around. I've had a couple of people that mentioned it already and they're absolutely right. The camera should have been turned the other way. I just, the way I have my room in here and the way I have things in front of me, it's um, it was quite difficult. And it is on a pole, but it's on a pole that belongs to something totally different. And I'm sure a lot of you have to do different things like that. But this puppy is not going to last this way. So I definitely have to go and um, find something that will be suitable for this. So this is quite a little bit of a test. And uh, since I am working on a project, I decided that I'll take this opportunity and talk to you about it. <clears throat> this is a... I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it's um well it's going to be a collage canvas, obviously, um, for different pictures. And what I did, it's easy if I show you. That's what I did. Okay. So I pieced because I am really going through the mode. As I'm speaking to you, I'm gonna start painting too, the back. And it's watered down because I didn't have much in that container, but I want to utilize as much as I can out of that uh, paint. So let me put my um, plastic bag, as you all know that I do. Anyhow, so I am in the mode of utilizing leftovers, especially when it comes to chipboard. Oh my God, yes. Uh, I just feel bad throwing such a, you know, big pieces of chipboard. and But I don't want to have them, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want to have them accumulate on me either just because I want to save them. Most projects require me to use, obviously, the bigger pieces. But, you know, I'm I'm starting to collect them. And um, that's not going to happen, not on my watch anyways. I don't have a huge space, so like all of us, you know. So I have to find ways to utilize my product that, you know, that I pay money for. It wasn't free, and I don't believe in throwing any piece of it. I mean, when it comes to very small pieces, obviously that would be ridiculous, but these, I consider them very usable. So I've been kind of, you know, in my head, I've been going kind of more crazy than usual, trying to figure it out ways of um, utilizing them. And, well, I saw a project, this is long t years ago, at my local craft store, and I bought the kid for it, and it was a collage frames, okay? So that was, uh, that included all the little frames, some were covered in um, burlap, some other ones were, uh, you know, your regular little picture canvas, not picture canvas, but um, paint uh, canvases that you can buy in any art store or Walmart or whatever. <clears throat> So, I decided, okay, I think I'm going to grab that idea. So, don't think I'm a genius in any way, shape, or form. I was just trying to utilize what I had and make it into something that I think I would like. And I like to take advantage of this mode that I'm in, as I mentioned to you all. Of um, Let's uh, use what we have. So the rest to it until I, until it goes away from me, <laughs> because it will. I get tired. I says, "Oh yeah, that's enough of this." Uh, until I feel like you know the other little smaller pieces are not worth saving, and I'm not you know injuring the environment at the same time. So that's basically what you are seeing here at work. I do hope that this angle. Uh, for the camera now it looks like you are on top of the project and um, and I was aware the whole time um, as, as I'm telling you even right now I don't know how long this little contraption will work but over the weekend I'm hoping I didn't have um, enough cash also to go to 
to, you know, an electronic store and buy something. And I've tried different things. I even checked YouTube and people have done different things. Well, I, I can't find anything that would work for me of the things that I have here or that I even could buy in my local store. So I need to kind of go to an electronic store. And if I see something there that would match, something that I can make, well, yeah, I would do it. But at this point, you know, uh, my apologies to everyone. My intention was not to make myself comfortable on, on the camera. It was really to show you whatever craziness I'm working on. But um, I think in the process I even make somebody sick, probably looking at the camera the wrong way or trying to concentrate. And I can ap appreciate that. So please don't feel like uh, you can't comment your feelings um, on my um, on my channel. So, Okay, well, this is a little test. Yeah, I'm going to put it up right now, and please let me know, um, you know, if it makes any difference to you. Um, I will do my best to improve, as always. I don't have any issues taking. I don't call this criticism. I call this, um, you know, my opportunity to improve, and I like that. I've always learned something from somebody else, always. None of us were born teachers. I certainly wasn't. So I had lots of people to look after and take my hat off too. Well, you guys have a great day and I'll be able to hopefully show you a little bit more of this project when it's a little bit more finished and see where we take it from there. You know, hopefully we can turn it into a, a little tutorial. All right, well, carry on and thanks for stopping by. I would definitely, please, please, if you watch this, let me know. Let me know how you like the new the new view on the camera and if that's better for you. I just need to have feedback. That's basically it. Well, you guys take care and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.